<clears throat> there we go. Okay, excellent. So, um, as far as I know, this was the last topic that you studied, right? The last topic was the passive of present continuous and present perfect. Is this right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. I, I have to ask a question. Mm -hmm. You ask, uh, asked us about uh, the ebook. We need to have it? No, I mean, uh, sometimes we have problems on like giving you an ebook, okay, because mm -hmm. of the format and so on. So it's not an obligation for you to have the ebook. But it's a possibility. Mm, let me ask. Let okay. me ask because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, Sometimes cool. from the academy, they install the books in our computers. That's why we have them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's make a review of the passive voice. Passive voice. Can you tell me what is the difference between the active voice and the passive voice? Do you want to try, Pablo? Or go ahead, please. Okay. <laughs> The active voice uh, is used when we try to explain about a person who performed an activity. Mm -hmm. The passive voice is the opposite situation when the, the person who performed the activity is not the is not so important or is not what we want to explain. In that case, we are emphasizing uh, about the situation or, uh, or or something that was made or realized by anyone uh, but the person who performs or or did the activity mm -hmm. uh, is not so important or relevant in order the idea that we try to explain very good excellent excellent so active voice we focus on who does the action yes right? In passive voice, we focus on the person who receives or is affected by the action. Very good. Excellent. So this information is clear, right? Mm -hmm. And you practice the passive voice and the active voice in these topics about, let me go zoom out. We are talking about society, the environment. Uh, the topic basically of this unit is trends, right? Trends mm -hmm. in our country, probably in um, a continent or the whole world. Now, today we are going to continue and we will expand our vocabulary, okay? We are going to expand our vocabulary. How? You are going to have three minutes, three minutes to look for the meaning of new words. But what words? These words that we have over here. Okay? <clears throat> I, these words that we have over here. Right now, we are going to read them. So, repeat after me, please. Air pollution. Air pollution. Mm, air pollution. Draft. 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 Environmental friendly. Environmental, Environmental friendly. Uh, landfill. Uh, landfill. Landfill. Toxic chemicals. Toxic, Toxic chemicals. chemicals. Very good. Bio, this one, it's tricky, okay? Biodegradable. Biodegradable. Or biodegradable, D. Oh, biodegradable. Degradable. biodegradable. Very good. Energy saving. Energy saving. Energy saving. Global warming. Global warming. Global warming. Natural resources. Natural resources. Natural resources. 
Water consumption. Water consumption. Water consumption. Very good. Okay. So I want you to write in your notebook these words or phrases. And I need you in three minutes, okay, in three minutes, you are going to look for the meaning of new words. Meaning of new words. Now, question. Do you have a... Um, let me share my screen over here. Do you have any translator or dictionary? Yes, I have. Oh. <laughs> yeah? Perfect. I recommend this one. The, the name of this dictionary is Lingui. Okay, Lingui. Okay. But if you use another, it's fine. But please try to avoid Google Translator, okay? Try to avoid that one, okay? All right, please copy the words in your notebook. Let me go back to the book. Okay, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Perfect, let's copy these words and let me know when you are ready. Okay, ready. Perfect. Pablo, what about you? Yes, uh, I'm ready. Ready? Okay, three minutes now. So you can look for the meaning of new words. Three minutes starting now. Ready, Rodolfo? Yes, I am. Very good. Pablo? <clears throat> Sorry, teacher. Are you ready? Do you have the meaning of your new words? Uh, well, from, from all, uh, uh, almost, I am currently okay. doing a search. No problem. <clears throat> One minute.
Okay, three minutes past. Are you ready, Pablo? Do you have the meaning of your new words? A few. A few? Yeah. Okay, but we can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, let's see. From these words that we have over here, Rodolfo, which are your new words? My new words are trough and landfill. And landfill, okay. Mm -hmm. All clear with the meaning of these words now? Yes, now it's clear. Perfect. Pablo, which are your new words? Yeah, from my side is uh, uh, bio, <clears throat> sorry, biodegradable. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and water consumption. Water consumption. Those are the only new words that you have? Uh, let me see. And um, another is uh, landfill. Landfill. Yeah. Did you find the meaning of landfill? Uh, no. To, to no? be honest, no. Okay. Rodolfo, can you explain what a landfill is? Yes, uh, of course. A landfill is a place used for persons to, uh, to put their garbage and another kind of uh, uh, stuff that you don't use it anymore. Very good. So a landfill is, I think we have a picture over here. Let me show you. Let's see. Ah, no, 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 no. It's a city. A landfill is basically the place where probably the city, right? All mm -hmm. the city dumps their trash. Understood, Pablo? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have the meaning of all these words pretty clear, we are going to do this exercise. Okay, Pablo, can you please read uh, the instructions for this exercise? Okay. Um, the letter A? A? Yes, letter A. Complete the article with words and expression from the box. What do you learn? Very good. Okay, let's start. We are going to make a reading over here, okay? Uh, Rodolfo, mm -hmm. please start the reading until you can do. Okay. Also, uh, what, what can you do to protect the environment? Although environmental problems can see overwhelming, there is hope if everyone gets involved in protecting our natural resources. Here's what you can do. Okay. So we are going to have a list of recommendations, mm -hmm. right? Basically, that's the article about. Okay. Continue, Rodolfo. Okay, consume less energy. Climates are changing and ocean levels are rising because of... A... What do you think should go here? For me, it's a global warming. Okay, Pablo, do you agree? Yes, I think that is correct. Okay, give me a second. What's... Let's see... Yes, that's what we have over here. There we go. Global warming. Okay, very good. That's the correct answer. Continue, please. Okay, this rubbing problem is due to increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as a result of the burning of oil, coal, and gas. In order to save electricity, use mm -hmm. energy saving light bulbs and turn the air, condi air conditioning down or off when possible. To conserve gas or oil, turn down the heat by two, two Fahrenheit, degree, Fahrenheit? Mm -hmm. degree, which or one, um, one degree Celsius. Celsius. Mm -hmm. You also cut 10% of your bill. Okay, very good, excellent. Let's see, it's energy saving. Very good, that is the correct answer. Okay, so the first piece of advice or the first recommendation that we have is? 
Mm, well, I try to not use uh, so many or too much energy. Too much, exactly. Much with energy, right? Energy is uncountable. Exactly. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now we are going to continue. Pablo, can you please continue with the reading? Don't use. Yes. Don't use your car if you don't have to. Because cars consume energy and also cause... Um, see? Cause... Uh, Do you have the words in your notebook? Air pollution. Air pollution. Very good. Excellent. Air pollution. Great. Continue. Air pollution. Uh, so, instead of driving everywhere, use public transportation or ride a bicycle. You'll get good ex exercise and help improve your city's air quality. Definitely, right? Very good. Excellent. This is the second piece of advice. Which is the second piece of advice? Um... Don't use the car and use uh, in instead the uh, bicycle. Very good. An alternative option. Alternative. Do we know that word? Alternative? Yeah, I, I, I hear. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Rodolfo, please continue. Avoid <laughs> toxic. Okay. Avoid toxic cleaning products. Look for um, environmentally friendly brands even if they are more expensive. This helps cut down on the... Let me see. I think this toxic chemicals. There that we go. contaminate all rivers and oceans and are generally harmful to the environment. Very good. Excellent. Can you think of any toxic cleaning product that you have heard of? Mm. Well, mm, let me think. I have a, a very clear idea uh, about one of them. Uh, but I can't remember the, the name in English. Do you remember the name of that chemical product used to keep clear the pools? A bleach. Chloro, bleach. Exactly, exactly. This is one of the most, well, even it's poisonous uh, yeah. chemical for, for, for the, um, the animal life and the human life too. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. And you, Pablo, do you know any toxic cleaning product? To be honest, I don't remember, but I, I, I know that, for instance, on the, on the sea, the, mm -hmm. the, the fish, usually, uh, almost all, all, all fish on the sea uh, are contaminated with mercury. Oh, true, mercury. Wow, it's true. I had forgot about that one. Okay, very good, very good. So those are products that if we can avoid, it's great, right? Okay, let's continue with the reading. Pablo? Okay. Um, recycle all of your garbage. Recycle newspapers, magazines, batteries, and old packaging such as cartons, bottles, cans, and cans and plastics so that they don't end up in, um, let me see, in uh, the new word, the new word. A landfill. Very good. And, and a landfill, in a landfill, mm -hmm. packaging that is not an, uh, let me see. It's not biodegradable. Very good. And uh, can take. Can take use to discompose. Very and good. Recycled paper, glass, plastic, and metal 
saves energy. Very good. Just the pronunciation, recycling. Recycling. So yes. Okay. Very good. And let's listen to the last uh, recommendation. Rodolfo, please. Mm -hmm. Conserve water. Even though 1.2 billion people in the world lack safe drinking water, people in developed countries use 15 bath bath to water holes. a day. Mm -hmm. Please, can you repeat us again the pronunciation? Sure. Bathtub falls. Bathtub falls yes. of water a day. It's like a that stuff when the people take such it's not a shower. It's uh -huh. another thing that we use to 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 basically to the same bath. the name is bathtub. That is the name, bathtub. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's a a lot of water. Yes. Well, let's go back to the to the reading. 15 bath of falls of water of water a day. You can cut your water consumption mm -hmm. in half by taking showers instead of baths and water your, your lawn only once a week. Some people water lawns daily in spite of water shortage and drought warnings. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So what do we have in this article? Can you tell me what do we have in this article? Well, uh, there's a different recommendation of common sense in order to uh, to look after our, our world. Okay, very good. Recommendations to look after our world. And you, Pablo, what did you learn from the reading? Well, I understand that this is very important. For instance, uh, think before buy some some product, for instance, uh, package, plastic package. Yes. And uh, verify if this this kind of stuff are biodegradable, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, it's necessary to verify some uh leaks of, of water on the on the on the pipelines in the house yeah pipe, another, pipelines pipelines mm -hmm. sorry pipelines on the house and um well uh, in the, uh, i think that this is important as well in the case of the people that have cars mm -hmm. it's important to verify the consumption of the f fuel, yeah, the kind of fuel that they they uh, use, because there is a fuel that is most contaminating, more, more, more contaminating. Sorry, more contaminated, contaminating of another. Then I understand. Then another. Then another. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Definitely, very good. And also the maintenance of your car, right? Because, yeah. for example, buses, when they don't have a good maintenance, oh my goodness, we have a lot of air contamination, a lot of air pollution because of them, right? Yes, now, let's answer these questions. Which ones <laughs> of these activities are you concerned about or not. Which ones are you concerned about? The usage of energy, the use of a car, cleaning products, toxic cleaning products, uh, garbage recycling, or water. Which of these topics are you concerned about? From my side, I think that um, in this moment, uh, I can see, for instance, uh, many people suffer or die in the United States, for instance, the last year because of the, 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 the change of the climate. Climate is correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, climate. Cli climate. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, I think that all these recommendations are critical, uh, are very important. I don't, I don't think so that one is more important than another. 
Ah, okay. I think that all of them are very, very important because mm -hmm. uh, usually the people try to to apply some of, some of them, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, don't uh, care about the, the rest. Yeah, understood, um, got it. I, I think that all of them are important. Okay, and you, Rodolfo? Well, uh, I agree with the with the Pablo's criteria about this uh, kind of of, of um, problems, mm -hmm. but if you if you force me to have a, a choice about that, I try to do an effort and maybe we can put in the first place the toxic clinic product because okay. that kind of things. Uh, creates uh, contamination in two ways. Mm -hmm. First one, in the in, in the product itself. And the another one, because m most of them are bottled in plastics too. Yeah. In that way, it contaminates in two ways. When you are using, and when you, uh, when on, well, well, not you, when the people use it, and finally, when the, you finish to use it, and throw uh, it away. You throw you throw away the the, the bottles or the bags. Yeah. Is, uh, sell it. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so we agree that all of them are important. Now, which of these pieces of advice or recommendations do you currently do? Yeah, okay. I really love, I really love to save energy at my home. Okay. I I, I don't know if 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 uh, I begin because my mother taught me in that <laughs> way, raised me in that way. Yeah. But I really love to turn off the light of my home. That you were not using. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. In the other way, in the other hand, my 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 wife loves to have all the lights. Uh, turn on. No. Hey, what happened with you? <laughs> I'm going to get into the room and, uh, later. What happened? <laughs> no, but I prefer to turn off all the lights. Okay. I really love to do that. All right. So what is that? That is one of the recommendations that you currently do, right? Yes, it is. All right. And you, Pablo, which of these recommendations do you do in the present? Uh, well, from my side, I think that it's very important to conserve water. Okay. Um, because, <clears throat> sorry, I I remember some some news that s said that uh, in another countries, many people uh, currently uh, they haven't any any water on. on they don't country. have. They don't, they don't have. They don't have water on their countries. Mm -hmm. And this is a very well. It's a it's a, a a great problem for 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 them. I think. Yeah. Here we are the privilege of 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 water also, still. I think because I understand that the water is not infinite. Yeah. It's necessary to to care, to take care about that. Take exactly. Take care. Okay, very good. I agree with you. And I think that here in my house, I take care a lot of water because I don't have water throughout the day. <laughs> oh. It's like uh, sometimes I have water in the morning or sometimes I have water every two hours and things like that. So probably water, conserve water is one of the things that I mostly do. Now, do you know the meaning of this verb, lack? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. That is a verb that you can also use, Pablo, right? Like in other countries, they lack water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. So we answered those questions about the reading. And now we are going to continue with the grammar topic of today. Okay, mm -hmm. before we see or we uh, cover this grammar topic, I want you to uh, help me do this exercise. 
Um, Rodolfo, please read letter C. Okay. <clears throat> Can you choose the correct expression to complete each sentence? Compare with a partner, are the sentences true for you? Okay, very good. I want you to do them alone. Okay, right now, Rodolfo, you do the four sentences. Pablo, you do the four sentences. And then we are going to uh, compare our answers, okay? Okay. You have three minutes. Okay, got it. I see you finished, Rodolfo. I already did it, yes. Okay, <clears throat> perfect. You let me know, Pablo, when you are ready. He's done. Done? Very good. Okay, sentence number one. Pablo, read it, please, with the answer. Yeah. I buy rechargeable batteries in spite of the extra cost. Rodolfo, do you have the same answer? No, I have the another one. Even though? Even though. Okay. In this case, the correct answer is in spite of. In spite of. Okay. Okay, Rodolfo, read number two when you are ready. Okay. Number two. Because cars cause our pollution, I always take public transportation. Okay, very good. Do you have the same answer, uh, Pablo? Yeah. Yeah, very good. That is the correct answer. Because cars cause. Number three, Pablo. I turn down the air conditioning in order to use less electricity. Very good, excellent. And number four, Rodolfo. I recycle cans instead of throwing them in the, in the, grass, in the trash. In the trash. Pablo, do you have the same answer instead of? Yes. Perfect. Very good. Those are the correct answers for this activity. Now, the words that we have in bold. What are the words that we have? Wait, the three minutes. We have... In spite of, even though, and what are the other ones? Because, in order to, and instead of. Okay, but we also have so that and so, right? We mm -hmm. have these others. Do you know the name of these type of words? Yes. What are their name? What is, sorry, their name, Pablo? From, sorry, from what? Instead of? This type of words, what oh, yeah. are uh, like the group of words in spite of, even though, because, mm -hmm. because of, yeah. in order to, so that. What is the name of this group of words? Sorry, teacher, I don't remember. No, no problem. Because that is the topic that we are going to see today. Oh, These cool. words are called linking words or connectors, okay? This is the name of this group of words, linking words or connectors. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I am going to share with you over here. Okay, 
Uh, can you see my screen on Canva? Yeah. Yes, I can see. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so we are going to study linking words or connectors. That is the other name of these words. Before we see the list, I want to share with you this information over here. Okay, I will also send it to WhatsApp so that you can have it over there. And if you want, you can uh, you can review it. But today we're going to do it together. Okay, linking words, linking words. Let's learn about linking words. I'm going to read this information. Linking words help you to connect ideas and sentences when you speak or write English. We can use linking words to give examples, add information, summarize, sequence information, give a reason or result, or to contrast ideas, okay? So my question is, um, what is the function of linking words? Well, all of, all of, that, uh, of that example that you give us. Um, but if, if I have to, um, Summarizing one idea is <clears throat> connect ideas, exactly. Very good. Pablo, so what is the function of linking words? Sometimes, well, no, sometimes no, it's not correct. Uh, always is to contrast ideas, for instance. Um, uh, give a reason, give result, um, add information. Contrast ideas or connect ideas? Um, I, 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 I guess that probably both. Okay. Now the thing is this connect is the main function. Okay. Connect. For example, yeah. if we have two sentences, I like mangoes. Um, I don't like sour food. Okay. These are two sentences that are complete separate. Let me put it over here. I like mangoes. I don't like sour food. Okay. Do we know the meaning of sour? Yes. No, no yo, uh, I, me not teacher, sorry. What is the kind of food that when you eat it, you're like, Okay. Green mango. <laughs> exactly, from green mango. Or or, so, or guindas. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Very good. So these are two separate sentences. But if I want to make one sentence connect these two ideas, because I like mango is one idea. I don't like sour food is another idea. Yes. Now, in this case. What we want to do is connect, connect. That is the main thing. But because of the time of information, because of the type of information, we can make a contrast. I like mangoes, but I don't like sour food. But that is a linking word. Mm -hmm. I like mangoes, although, I don't like sour mangoes. That is another connector, right? Yes. So depending on the ideas, the content of the ideas, you are going to make, wait, a, give an example, add information, summarize, sequence information, give a reason or result so it depends on what the context of the ideas okay yeah. it depends on that all right so let's learn which are the words or phrases that we can use to give examples what are the three words that we have over here Example, instance, and namely. 
namely. Very good. Have you heard of these words before? Just example for me. Just Name. for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. For, for instance me. and namely, these are new for you, Rodolfo. Yes, it is. And for Absolutely. you, Pablo? Uh, I, I, I knew, for example, for instance, but uh, namely is new. For okay. Me. Let's see the information of namely. Rodolfo, please read it. Namely refers to something by name. There are two problems, namely the expense and the time. You see? So we use it when we are going to give basically a name. Okay? The name in this case of two problems. What are the names of these problems? Expense and time. And time. Okay? Very okay. good. If you want, copy the new words in your notebook. And remember, put at the beginning to give examples or giving examples. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Adding information. This is a longer list. Adding information. Which are the words that we have? Hello? Uh, the new ones for me, furthermore, moreover, apart from, and besides, because besides for me is, oh, no, 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 uh, now I can connect with my, with my very, very, woo, so many time, years ago, okay. classes, in uh -huh. <laughs> besides. All right, good. And you, Pablo, which are the new words that you have to add information? Well, from from my side, um, I knew the question is about if I, I knew these 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 words. Uh, vice versa. Which are the new new words? For me? Yes. Let me see. Mm. Apart from Furthermore, and moreover. Okay. Let me just put over here on Lingui. Furthermore. Okay. This is the meaning of furthermore. Furthermore. Okay. And what was the other one? Um, ah, moreover. 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 This is the meaning for moreover, which basically has the same meaning. And the same. Moreover, okay. furthermore is the same. The same. Then, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take note of the new words in our notebook, please. But remember to put adding information. Okay. Mm, these are examples, examples. Uh, this information. Apart from and besides are often used to mean as well as or in addition to. So these four words are basically synonyms. Okay. They have the same meaning. And moreover and furthermore, for furthermore, add extra information to the point you are making. Okay, these ones are to add extra information. For example, marketing plans give us an idea of the potential market. Moreover, they tell us about the competition. Any question about this? No, I'm okay. All good? Not the truth. Okay. Summarizing. What are the words that we have over here? Pablo, can you please read them? 
in short, in brief, in summary, to summarize, yes. in a nutshell, to conclude, in conclusion. This, this one is the same. Yes, basically they are the same, right? They are to say at the end, to make a summary. That these words are basically the same. Now, this one, in a nutshell, it's a little bit informal. Don't use the word in a nutshell for a formal documents. Okay, this is important. Don't use the phrase in a nutshell for formu formal documents. Okay, because this word is informal. Okay. Do you know what is the meaning of nutshell? Uh, I never... sure. uh, wait, uh, Pablo? <laughs> Sorry, I have a question. Uh -huh. In this case, for instance, I I did a or, or I will uh, do no I will create sorry I will create a letter to my friend for instance I can use nutshell yes because it's a friend okay yeah okay Rodolfo what were you saying sorry I never ever in my life heard that word okay nutshell. I will show you a picture better of what is a nutshell. Please, because sounds like a like a little a nut, like like yes. a uh, yeah, basically that. Uh -huh. This is a nutshell. <laughs> okay, exactly. This is a nutshell. Why, why are you going to use in a nutshell to summarize? Well, because nutshells are very small. Right? Mm -hmm. So the idea is to all the information that you had, you wanted to put it in something very small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? That's the idea of in a nutshell. Understood? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Let's copy new yeah. words, please. Copy new words in our notebook. Just that. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. And you, Pablo, do you have any other new word? Not okay. So let's just take note of this important information. Uh, Pablo, can you please read this? Yeah, we normally use this word at the beginning of the sentence to give a summary of what we have said or writing. Written, written. Written. Sorry. Very good. Okay, so this is important. Remember, this phrases start the sentence they don't go at the end mm -hmm. okay they start the sentence okay sequence ideas what are the phrases that we have Rodolfo? the former the later firstly secondly finally the first point is lastly and the following okay very good new words new phrases Well, maybe maybe in this use, the mm -hmm. expression former. Former. Yes. Okay. And you, Pablo? Um, let me see. Yes, probably former. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So basically, I think that probably, I don't know, the most common way to use former is like in the United States when they talk about presidents, right? The former president of the United States. The word former, former, talks about the previous. Mm -hmm. That's basically the meaning, okay? So we have this information. The former and the later are useful when you want to refer to one of two points. Let's see an example. Marketing number one, and finance, number two, are both covered in the course. The former is studied in the first term. So the former, what do you think will be? Marketing or finance? Marketing. Exactly, okay, number one. And the later, wait, and the later is studied in the final term. What would be the later? Finance. Finance. So, 
in the previous sentence, you talked about two topics or two things. The name of two things. And you use the former and the later when you want to talk about those things that you already mentioned. Clear? Mm -hmm. Pablo? Mm, um, so, so. <laughs> so, so, one more time, one more time. Read uh, this sentence, please. Marketing and finance are both covered in the course. Okay, what are the two topics that we are talking in this sentence? Marketing and finance. Marketing and finance. Okay, two topics. Continue reading. The former is studied in the first term and the later is studied in the final term. Okay, former? Okay. Yeah, okay. We are talking it's, about? It's like the first. Exactly, the first that you mentioned in the previous sentence. And later, in this case, would be? Here. Finance. Mm -hmm. Clear now? Yes, got it. Okay, very good. <clears throat> uh, do we have in the notebook the meaning of these yeah. keywords? Okay. All right, let's continue with giving a reason. If I'm not mistaken, these, yeah, the last two. Okay. Giving a reason. Giving a reason. We have due to, due to the fact that, owing to, owing to the fact that, because, because of, since, and as. New words? The first, the first two sentences. Do and owing. Do and owing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do would be like debido a. Debido. I believe, in my case, I feel that do to is a little bit more formal than because. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say that because is basic. And do to is advanced. Okay, I would classify them like that. But basically, the meaning is a reason. Do to, debido a. Do to the fact that, debido al hecho que. Okay, Pablo, don't worry. Sounds very formal. Yes. I really and like this it. one, it's even more formal then do too okay. but they have the same meaning the same meaning please don't laugh of me but uh, i really like it you know why why because i'm a lawyer it definitely is it, this would be the phrases that that a lawyer would use i yeah. re i really feel fascinated for that idea <laughs> <laughs> Because well, usually good. in Spanish, I want to talk in that way. Uh -huh. But if I don't know in English, I feel a stop. Uh, okay. With my ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how, how I feel like right now? You can show me a door. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, because definitely do too is more formal than because. And because is like the first word that comes to your mind. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to remember uh, because is the word that we mostly use. Even the contraction, cause. Yeah, cause, exactly. So now you know words that are more formal. Okay, uh, let's continue. Pablo is going to come back later on. Okay, giving a result. Can you please read them, Rodolfo? Giving a result, therefore, so, consequently, this means that or as a result. Very good. Excellent. New words? Therefore. Therefore? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, therefore basically is the same meaning as so. Okay. okay. If I can even put it over here. Uh, you see? Por lo tanto, por consiguiente. It mm -hmm. has the same meaning as consequently. Okay. 
Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Now, therefore and consequently are more formal than as a result. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Pablo, are you back? Probably not. Maybe okay. have a call. Yeah, probably. Okay, but he's gonna have this link <coughs> so he can check that information. This All right. Part of, uh, this is part of the information that you send us on WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. The same link. It's the same link. Okay. Now let's let's see contrasting ideas. Yes, that is the last one. Okay, contrasting ideas. We have this list of words. Can you please read them, Rodolfo? <clears throat> yes. But however, although or even though, mm -hmm. despite despite the fact that in spite of, that one is new for me, by the way. Okay. In spite of fact that, nevertheless, nonetheless, while, whereas, unlike, in theory or in practice. Okay, very good. So in spite of is new for you. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I um, um, fail the question at uh, several the minutes ago. The exercise of the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's look for the meaning of in spite of. I'm going to show it here. Now, something important. This is a three word phrase. We never put them together. Okay. In spite of. And this is the meaning. <clears throat> okay. Or PSA. Okay. Okay. This is a formal expression yes it is and this is the same the same meaning in spite of and despite they have the same meaning okay okay basically they have the same they, they are the same word okay cool but remember this despite is one word and in spite of three words Two words, okay. Nevertheless, nonetheless. Uh, uh, same, same word. You're back, Pablo. Very good. Okay. Nevertheless, nonetheless, same word. Let me put it over here. This. Hmm. Okay. No obstacle. One of my favorite words in Spanish. Really? Yes, it is. There you go. <laughs> Because it's very useful, it's very common that we express ideas mm -hmm. and the exception of the principal ideas. Ah, okay. Very good. And this That's is the da, 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 At least, da, da, da. Uh-huh. Definitely. So, you see, nevertheless, same. No, Sin embargo, no obstante. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pablo, oh. we are checking right now the contrasting ideas words. Yeah. Do you have any other new word over here from the list, Pablo? Yeah. Um, um, let me see. Nevertheless, nonetheless, non, nonetheless. I'm uh, sorry. Nonetheless. What is the, the, the correct expression? Nonetheless. Nonetheless. Yes. Nevertheless, nonetheless. And uh, let me see. Uh, whereas. Whereas. Yeah. Okay. This one is more formal. Let me show you the meaning. This is more common. Oh, considerando que. Is. is the same like while? Uh, no, because while is more mientras tanto. Mm, yeah. Ajá. Okay. And whereas is considerando que. Okay. <laughs> or this one. Si bien. Oh. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Okay, this is the last um, basically list. Now I want you to take the quiz that you have at the end of the link I sent you. If you open the link that is on WhatsApp, you are going to see that the, at the end of the website, you have a part that says, now try our quiz. This quiz is super easy, okay? 
we don't have complicated words and it's online so let's open the link that you have on whatsapp please go to the end of the site and click on try quiz then okay. connect words mm -hmm. and take the a uh, take the test individually okay okay <clears throat> In my office, I have no open the use of internet that I have to do in my phone. Ah, okay. But it's okay. But it's okay. It was so it's a very nice link. Yes. Yeah. And it tells you if your answer is correct or if it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Pablo, let me know when you finish. Yes, almost. Almost. Very good. Yes, I, I finished. You finished? Very good. Okay, so you know which sentences you got wrong, which sentences you have right. Do you have any question about uh, the answers that you got? Oh, well, from my side, I think that this is not complicated. It's not difficult. Okay, Yeah. got it. All right, now we're going to do another exercise. This is gonna be the last exercise for tonight, but I'm going to give you two extra exercises for you to do at home when you have time. Okay, this is a new link. I'm gonna send the link to WhatsApp so that you can also open it. Now this one, it's a little bit more complicated, but we are still talking about our environment. Okay, open the link. We are going to do this exercise together. Okay, let me know when you are ready. You're going to say, okay. Got it, very good. Yes, it is. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Very good. For me, it's opening yet, but let's okay. continue. All right, let's 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 do number one, okay? You have a drop-down menu, and it says, save water, you should take a shower, a bath. These are the options. Uh, 
I think it's in order to. Okay, Pablo, what do you think? Yes, in order to. Okay, and the second? Instead of. Instead, Instead of. of, very good, excellent. Uh, did you, the website loaded? Not yet, Rodolfo? Yes, actually, actually they did it. Okay, perfect. Number two. Uh, Pablo, read it. Building new highways for cars and trucks, the government should spend more on public transport. I ah, think okay. that they is in, instead of. Okay, Rodolfo, do you agree? I agree. Very good. Three, Rodolfo. We don't take global warming seriously enough. In spite of, as a result of, because of. As a result of raising ocean levels and floods. Very good. Number four, Pablo. Okay, let me see. Uh, where homes near the sea have been destroyed. Um, a flood, the owners shouldn't be allowed to rebuild in the same place. Okay. Uh, let me see. Because of. Sure. Sorry, let me see. Bye. Bye, Rodolfo, do you agree? Agree, absolutely. Okay, five, Rodolfo. More money should be spent on alternative energy. So that we don't need to burn so much coal and oil. Okay, Pablo, do you agree? Let me see. So that. So that, so that. More money should be spent on alternative energy. See, yes, sorry. Very Sorry. good. <laughs> no worry, no worry. Do you agree that too? happens to me too. Sorry? Do you, do you, are, do you, are you agree too? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So that, yes. I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, private, Rodolfo. Private cars should be banned from cities because people are developing serious health problems. Due to air pollution from automobiles. Okay, Automo Pablo? Automobiles, sorry. Automobiles, yes. Automobiles, yes, correct. Okay, continue, Pablo, seven. Okay. It will cost me more to turn my car. I will be happy if they raise gasoline taxes in order to cut down on gas consumption. Okay. Let me see. Although. Although? Pablo, sorry, Rodolfo? Do you agree? Um, yes, I am. Okay. Excellent. Continue, Rodolfo. Eight. Mm -hmm. Environmental problems are overwhelming. Despite though, why? Because. There's a still hope. Mm -hmm. I think is even though. Even though, Pablo? Even though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Let me just show you something over here. We have a pesar de for this pipe, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. It could be the spy too. And although is aunque. But in this case, the expression is even and though in separate words. Give me a second, I didn't see it. Oh, true, even though. It has the same meaning. Oh. Yeah. 
B. Though, even though, aunque. In this one, well, both could be. In my case, I uh, lean on more to the spike. But let's put even though, okay? Okay. Okay. Nine, Pablo? Yes. Some people water. Some people water their lawns daily. Lawns. What is the correct expression, teacher? Lawns. Yes, lawns. Daily drop warning. Let me mm -hmm. see. Daily drop warning in spite. You too? Sure. To be honest, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rodolfo? I think this could be as despite. Despite. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's like uh, we have we have a warning, right? But they don't care and they still water their lawns daily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, 10, Rodolfo? Climates are changing as a result of global warming. Very good. Pablo, do you agree? Yes. Okay, next. Recycle garbage. Um, let me see, it doesn't end up. Wow. Instead of. Sure. No, let me see. It's, it's incorrect. While. Mm, no. Mm. This okay. one is as a result. Ah, sorry. Okay? Like. Uh, uh, um, although. Although is for a contrast. But in this case, it's, uh, it's so that. Yes. But so what, what, I don't understand what is the meaning of so that in this case. Para qué? Uh, so so we are saying eh, recicle su basura para que That's... no termine en los vertederos. Eh, what, what's the name? Vertederos. Vertederos, pero también he escuchado otra palabra. But yeah, he escuchado otra palabra, pero no me acuerdo. Ah, relleno. Ah, no, no, no. Creo que ah. es otra. Pero Please. something similar. Something mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And last one. Let's do it together. I buy rechargeable batteries. The high, higher cost. Over here, we also have like two options. Uh, the two last one could, could be yeah one of the two now let's put in this one although let's see let's see okay now let's click on check that we have that word at the end and we have 80 percent in this case uh we don't take global warming seriously as a result of in this case is in spite of raising ocean levels and floods, okay, a pesar de, no nos tomamos en serio el calentamiento global, a pesar de los crecientes niveles de agua e inundaciones. And the last one, in this case as, as well, despite. I buy rechargeable batteries despite the higher cost. Let's put hint, exactly, despite in spite of okay question okay. about this exercise no no it's no? nice okay very good i'm gonna send you two more links these are going to be basically for you to practice 
whenever you have time and continue practicing with connectors. The first exercise is for you to complete with any of these words. After, as soon as, because, by the time, just as, once, when, and while. And the other one is similar to the, to the one that we just did, where you complete with the words from the drop-down menu. Okay? Okay, excellent. Now, one last thing, I'm going to also send you a screenshot of this list. This is a big, but big list of connectors, okay? So read them. If you have new words, look for the meaning of these new words and try to uh, practice, right? This is not homework for you to practice, but, but, it is better if you practice, right? Okay. okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Pablo. I understand that you uh, are recording this this class. Yes, I am. You will send us. You will send us the the link to. Uh, do you have already a YouTube um, playlist? A YouTube playlist? No. Uh -huh. No. Okay, I am going to create a YouTube playlist and I'm going to upload all the classes that I record to that playlist, okay? Okay, got it. Nice. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, <clears throat> any question before we finish the class? Uh, oh, no. yeah. All good? I'm uh, very satisfied with your methodology to uh, teach English. It's very thank nice. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for thank being you. in the first class of the year. I hope I continue seeing you. And yeah, have a great night. If you are going to eat, well, buen provecho. Right? We don't <laughs> have that in English. How do you, you say that in, in English? We don't have that. And okay. actually, gringos don't like the idea of that. Really? Yeah, I'm going to tell you someday a story about a friend who he is a gringo gringo. And when he came to El Salvador the first time, somebody said, buen provecho. And a translator told him, te están deseando buen provecho. Buen provecho. He is wishing you a good, good meal. Like enjoy your meal or something like ah, that. Enjoy no? your meal. And the person, the gringo was like, ¿Y para qué me está diciendo que aproveche mi comida si yo ya sé que la voy a aprovechar? ¿Para qué? Que no se meta. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Don't say to gringos, buen provecho. <laughs> okay. that you think. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys. Well, I won't take more time.